Welcome to Wednesday Web Chat. I'm Carl Lewis, your host from Vision 33. And our special guest today is Sarah Humphreys of Vision 33. And she's going to be sharing with us all about SPS EDI. So if you're interested in EDI, you've come to the right place. Uh, but before we get there and let Sarah uh, show us what she's brought along today, uh, let us uh, just take a quick look at some announcements and things that are coming up. Just to remind you, we do have a new customer resource center. And uh, you need to uh, find the resource center. You'll see the link there at the bottom of the page and um, you need to find that and um, uh, go there and apply basically for a username and password if you don't already have one. Now, in this particular iteration of our resource center, every user has their own username and password. So be sure you get that done. There's so much out there that'll be helpful to you. You don't wanna miss it, right? And uh, uh, without further ado, I wanna introduce you to Sarah Humphreys. Uh, my colleague at Vision 33. Awesome, thank you so much for the warm welcome, Carl. Hello and uh, welcome to Wednesday Web Chat, everybody. My name is Sarah Humphreys, and I'm the sales manager for the SAP Business One Portals and Integrations here at Vision 33. Today, Carl has invited me to the Wednesday Web Chat to tell you all about the SPS Commerce EDI SAP Business One integration and how you can work with your trading partners in an intelligent way. So before I jump into the SPS Commerce Cloud EDI integration, I just want to give you a quick overview of the products that Vision 33 has developed and offers within our suite lineup. We have Customer Portal, B2B Marketplace, Employee Portal with Sales User and Expense User, Vendor Portal, the Saltbox platform, and of course, SPS Commerce Cloud EDI. The customer portal gives customers a secure, flexible, and personalized self-service gateway, providing 24-7 access to account information. With customer portal, you can accept online payments, manage orders and quotes, and display detailed reports on invoices, order status, and shipping details where and when your customers need it. B2B Marketplace is a powerful extension for Customer Portal, providing customers with a streamlined buying experience and self-service access to all of the products and account information that they need. With B2B Marketplace, you can offer a full online shopping experience, giving customers an online store they're used to, including product details pages, multiple images, and catalog views. Employee Portal Sales User puts your employees in the driver's seat with a real-time web-based solution that is seamlessly integrated with SAP Business One. This real-time CRM solution gives employees the flexibility and tools to manage their leads and opportunities, submit quotes and orders, and report on important information directly from SAP Business One. And they can stay connected anywhere with mobile access. Expense User for Employee Portal is a powerful web-based expense reporting solution. It streamlines the creation of expense reports, approvals, and reimbursements from inside SAP Business One. This automated expense management solution provides greater control over business costs with full visibility into expenses and employee reimbursements. The Vendor Portal for SAP Business One provides a feature-rich solution offering your vendors the ability to see SAP Business One data you need them to through a web-based browser. At the same time, you have complete control and flexibility over the presentation, content, and functionality of what each user views. What's new and exciting here at Vision 33 is the Saltbox platform, which is Vision 33's born in the cloud integration platform as a service solution for enterprise integration, workflow, and collaboration between business applications. Saltbox is designed and built as a cloud-centric tool specifically for connecting transactional data between critical business systems. Saltbox provides for integration and workflow construction in a manner that allows for an intelligent human intervention in input, approvals, and exception handling. Now for what you all came here for. SPS Commerce Cloud EDI. This is a full service solution that provides all you need to connect your trading partners and manage your electronic orders within SAP Business One. Here at Vision 33, we provide proven technology and SAP experts to manage the process from implementation through ongoing day-to-day -day operations. 
Built directly into the menu of SAP Business One, the SPS Commerce Cloud EDI integration enables you to manage your entire business process, including EDI, in one central location. The integration itself is a service that runs in the background, so there's no import or export required. It's all going to be automatic. The SPS integration mimics the same levels of security that SAP Business One has. So say, for example, you have a CRM license. That means you can't do invoicing, which in turn means that you cannot do the 810 invoice document. Vision 33 works with SPS Commerce, and we have a strategic partnership in that we have combined expertise, which results in reduced risk for you and faster time to value with your EDI investment. The SPS Commerce integration is created by Vision 33, an SAP Business One industry expert. It's also an SAP certified solution with dedicated SAP Business One implementation and support teams. And lastly, this embedded integration utilizes SAP Business One core functionality for a simplified, streamlined experience. And without further ado, let's jump into today's demonstration of the SAP Business One SPS Commerce integration. Here we are in SAP Business One HANA version 9.3. We do support 9.2 as well, often supporting SAP's latest version and a step back. You can see here that I have a message and alerts overview screen popped open, letting me know that a new sales order has been imported. So oftentimes when a new EDI order comes in, you'll see that the order is listed here for you to work with. It gives you some detail on the order, the date and time, as well as who it's from. And it will also link you to the sales order from the document key golden arrow drill down. So you'll have easy access to the sales order as they come into SAP Business One. If we take a look over to the left hand side in the SAP Business One menu, you can see that the SPS integration is built directly into the menu here. So like I mentioned earlier, you have one central location to manage your entire business process, making it simple all from SAP Business One. So we have a new sales order that's been automatically imported into SAP Business One for us. So as we open up the open sales orders queue here, you can see that there's a sales order listed. A few things to note here is the ability for you to sort by customer. You can also sort the orders by posting date from and to the status of the order, whether it's new, in progress, completed or rejected, the due date, and lastly, the order type. Now let's go ahead and work with that order and I'll show you step-by-step -step the documents that we have integrated to SAP Business One. As we drill down on the sales order entry here, you can see the sales order, what partner it's coming from, the requested delivery date, items, quantity and price, if we take a look here, there's a warnings button, which will give you some additional information about the order that you might want to keep a close eye on. You can see this order came in successfully. Maybe the contact name that at the header level doesn't match the contact information on the business partner, and you might need to rectify that problem. Or um, you know, maybe the order doesn't contain a bill to address that matches the bill to on the business partner. Things like that that you might want to keep a close look at. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and make some changes so you can get an idea of how flexible this tool is. I'll go ahead and make a change to the delivery date. And perhaps to the unit price. And we'll go ahead and update. As we look back at the sales orders queue here, you can see that under the 855 changes column, it currently says no. If I refresh that, you'll see that it changes to yes. And when we drill down on the golden arrow here, it will actually let you know what the original value was and then the updated value. So if someone is making changes to an order, you have visibility into that by clicking into the summary of changes. And with that, you highlight the line here and by clicking the send 855 accept blue button, that will send the purchase order acknowledgement to the trading partner. Now let's come up to the sales module here, come into sales order and go to our most recent record. So you can see that sales order with the price adjustment and the delivery date adjustment. 
and we'll go ahead and copy that to a delivery. Now, if you have a warehouse management solution, this is a step that you won't have to worry about, but I'll go ahead and show you the step-by-step -step instruction if there was no warehouse management in place. So we right-click, select packing slip here, choose our package type, and we'll go ahead and package those contents. Select update, and then we'll go ahead and add that delivery. So now that our delivery has been created, we now need to come back down to the SPS integration under open deliveries to send the advanced ship notice. You can see here that the navigational tools are often the same within each queue with the ability to navigate between customer, posting date, due date, status and order type. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and highlight the delivery entry line, select my ASN wizard. You can see that it's fully packaged in one carton being shipped by UPS Red. I'll go ahead and add in my bill of lading number along with my Carrier Pro, and we'll select Send ASN. Yes. And it will automatically populate the label print screen for me, so I can go ahead and print the UCC 128 label. So I just need to highlight the Select button line and hit Print. which will then populate a PDF of the UCC 128 label for me to then put onto the box. So that advanced ship notice has been sent to the training partner. And the last step here would be to make sure that the training partner is invoiced. So following our usual SAP Business One procedure, we come into the sales module and select delivery. And we'll copy that delivery to an AR invoice. Go ahead and hit add. So as your accounting team is creating these invoices, you'll be able to send these off to the trading partner through the SPS integration. You can see under the open invoices, 810 outbound invoice queue, I have an invoice ready to work with. I'll select the line here. And by selecting the create EDI files button, you'll be able to send the 810 document out to the trading partner. So as some of you might be wondering, there's a lot of clicking involved. I wanted to make sure that you understood the step-by-step -step process in terms of the SPS integration and SAP. But one of the things I'd like to mention is some of the automated features we provide within the SPS integration. So if we come under the business partner record, I'll find my trading partner here. And if you take a look to the right-hand side on the user-defined fields towards the bottom, you can see that we have SPS Send PO Acknowledgement, Invoice, ASN, Auto Create 810, 856, and so on. So you can automate these documents by trading partner. So for example, you might have some trading partners that you want to review the 810 prior to sending out, so you'll keep that set to no. However, you might have some that you don't mind sending the 810 as soon as it's been created as invoice in SAP, you can set that to yes. So you can get an idea just how flexible this tool is with regards to working with different trading partners and their different requirements. A couple of other neat features I'd like to note here as well is our message manager. So under the SPS integration, we have a button where you can come to to take a look at any orders that might have failed, you can see any that are in the success, outgoing, retry, and so on. So if your trading partner says, I sent you an order the other day, what's the status of it? And you said you didn't receive it. You can actually come in and see why that happened. So I am showing you an example of in the past day or two, we've had a couple of orders that you know have failed. So I can drill in on the line to see what the errors and warnings are. And as you drill in on the message ID, it will also give you an idea of what those errors are. So you have a way to resolve these issues directly from SAP Business One with the ability to come in and look at the raw XML and the XML editor. Again, taking a look at what success. You can also sort by the document type if you're looking for something specific, as well as the dates. Just an additional tool to help you get the job done. And then one last feature to note here 
is the ASN summary. So should you be required to reprint a label, for example, you can come to your ASN summary, you can sort by your trading partner, you can look at your posting date, and then you can come in, highlight the golden arrow, send ASN, and then you can reprint the label if you need to. Just giving you some recourse should you need it. So you can see here that Vision 33 and SPS Commerce provides you with all the required capabilities you need and then some. It means that you are getting all of those capabilities, including trading partner expertise, the communication channels, the testing and launch support, the ongoing full service support, the proactive monitoring and analysis, in order to ensure your EDI solution runs as efficiently and effectively as it should. So you might be wondering how SPS Commerce compares to other SAP Business One EDI providers. What we do here is we take care of the entire implementation process, including testing, migration, production. We rigorously stress test everything so your solution works from day one. SPS Commerce proactively onboards your trading partners so that you don't have to eliminating the need for a dedicated data entry staff. Vision 33 and SPS Commerce boasts the most resilient, fully cloud-based data centers in the industry, and is the only EDI provider that owns its own van, ensuring maximum reliability. That concludes my time here today on Wednesday Web Chat. If you have any questions, please feel free to jump in here today or contact me at the details you see on this slide. I'd be happy to jump on a call with you to take a deeper dive into the product features and the configuration. Carl, I'd like to check in and see if we have any questions. I'm not seeing a single question here today, Sarah. You must be getting better at this over time. So, <laughs> for sure. Well, with that, Carl, uh, thank you so much for having me. I'll hand it back over to you. Thank you, Sarah, and thank you, everyone, for being part of Wednesday Web Chat this week. We'll see you in a couple more weeks. And uh, we'll be announcing what our topic will be just as soon as we can. So watch for our communications. And if you know anyone that should be added to them, please let us know. And we'll be happy to add them to our notification list, uh, which goes out a few days prior to the event itself. So thank you very much. And we will be seeing you all again soon on Wednesday Web Chat.